Okay, some video analysis for you, but per your request, some of you, uh, I'm gonna give you a positive one, right? Kind of a happy one, happy laughy one. I'm gonna try to do more of those um, when I see things that are, are uh, where I'm able to do that. Okay, so here are a couple of guys that um, I just met them a couple of times in New York. This is in the Alvin Ailey Studios, which by the way is the best run dance organization in New York City for sure, from my experience. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna take you through how I do this because it, it won't be obvious when you watch it, but go ahead and watch it. It's a, uh, it's a couple of minutes long, so two, three minutes, two and, yeah, almost three minutes. So just watch it and then I'll come back and tell you what happened. Let's try some pirouettes. So you can try from second, but you're just gonna fall and then we'll try from fourth too. So, you know, don't bang out. I mean, show me what you got if you want. I mean, I saw it the other day you, but first of all, you're doing weird things with your arms. You're doing this. Why not just use the arm? Yeah, you also don't need arms that much. In fact, swinging them is a bad idea. But do whatever you're gonna do. Just go ahead and do some stuff, but don't do too many, right? Okay. okay just, just, just do one or two, do one. Do, do one. So there's no, there's anything needed this way. It's just, it's just play irrelevant. Right. But just take, take a minute. There's no rush. It doesn't help. Okay. And try not to drop your heads. Just keep it. Just a little play. This is good play. Go from there. Yes, 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 yes. You're just happy because you're used to it. You're used to letting yourselves do that. And, ah, good. Yeah, I was in it. Yeah, just more, but more. But look, the thing is, your upper bodies are moving around, so you can't help but do that. So no point to punish. You know, okay. it's going to happen for now. So that's why I don't want to repeat too many times because. You know. I see. It just works exactly. Yeah, we need to be at the bar. I just, you know, first day, second day, let's try a few things. But okay, lats. Yeah, that. All right, easy, 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 easy. Yeah, you just yeah, you just want to power it through. I understand the impulse to do that. But yeah. Okay, let's let's try one thing. Uh, it's partner up a little bit. So, um, can you just uh, go ahead and do pure right? Uh, right side is fine. Just face the mirror. Here's what I want you to do, and then we'll reverse. Just kind of, it's like it's not partnering. I just want you to feel where the weight ends up. Go, because you're doing it too. Go, and slap me in the head. Yeah, see, you'll feel right where, okay. try it. Just want, don't elbow in the mouth, you know. Just be careful, yeah. Just just feel where the weight's going to go, and then we'll switch. Ooh, that, that was a good one. That was a good, that one. Was a good one, yeah. Okay, that's switch. Good yeah, switch. Yeah. All right, uh, can you just test the distance so you, nobody gets hit in the face? You're okay. You all right? Yeah, or you can throw them up. I don't know. Yeah, just go ahead and do your thing. Just don't whack each other. Oh, you nailed it too, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah, all right. So, <laughs> right? Let me give you some insights. Let me kind of take you behind the scenes a little bit. So they were struggling with pirouette. They have all the same normal issues that everybody has with placement and, and all that. And because I understand their training, their, their sort of the, I understand their training, so I, I know how they're gonna receive my corrections, using the word corrections again, right? Because in this case, there are things that need to be changed. Um, but here's the thing, here's the tricky thing about coaching, right? Particularly people with already years and years of training. So what was throwing them off is their arms, their port de bras. Port de bras is, is not a, a useful part of um, turns. Right? Keeping them still placed, you know, and is key. And you take a little momentum, but the momentum's coming from your back and your core and your butt and your legs. It has nothing to do with the arms. The arms just move into place wherever you want them, right? They're not, they're not at the engine of your turn, not at all. It's your whole body. It's your plie moving in one piece. That's how, that's what pirouettes are. That's what all turns are, okay? So their arms are throwing them off. That's why they can't land 
the pirouette, right? Or stay up or anything, right? They just turn and fall backwards. Everybody does it, particularly in the, in, in the professional world. So I thought, okay, but if you draw, here's the thing, if you, if you draw attention to the arms, if I said, okay, don't move your arms, what happens typically is then they will focus on the arms and then lose the core and the rear and the leg. Well, then you can't turn at all. So it, it, it's not such a linear process coaching, right? You can't just, if you just point out the thing that they need to adjust, they're going to focus on that thing and they're going to lose track of what's really, really important, right? Unless the correction is core, rear, legs. So what I did is I just set up a little kind of experiment for them. So I told them that it was going to be a certain experiment, but I understood what was going to happen. They didn't, so that they could discover the truth about the arms. Does that make sense? So I, I said, okay, well, I want you to understand where your weight's going when you turn. So as you saw, they partnered each other and they turned much better. And they turned because they were afraid to hit their friend in the face. So they kept their arms absolutely small and still. They just disengaged their arms and they turned. And then they discovered that, oh, wait, and then you didn't see it in the video, but later I broke this all down for them. So just so you understand how I do it and, and, and that you can't always just be linear with your teaching. You, you have to understand how they're going to receive it based on their experience, right? And this is the same technique I use for creating these classes for you. And right? I understand basically what your experience has been. And so I craft the classes in such a way that you'll perceive things in the most effective way. And then of course I, you know, um, read your feedback and confirm that that's, that's going well. So yeah, guys are so easy, right? Man to man is, is a very, very simple thing to do. So there's that.